Hello everybody. I hope you are doing very well and that you and your family and your children, your husband, your wives are doing very well. Uh, please continue to follow the protocols, the guidelines from the government, washing our hands, using hand sanitizer, uh, covering our faces whenever we go into shops. By doing that, we will all protect ourselves from contacting this uh, terrible disease that is going around. This too will pass away. This disease will pass away. So be encouraged. Welcome to today's sermon on the go. Today's sermon is from the book of Lamentation. Lamentation chapter 3, reading from 31. For the Lord will not reject you. Although he causes grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love. For God does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, God is saying here, this is a message of hope. It's a message of restoration. God says that he will not reject you forever. Although he causes grief, he will also have compassion according to the abundance of his love. For God does not willingly afflict anyone. So if you are going through affliction, if you are going through challenges in life, if you are having a difficult time of your life, never say that it is because God is bringing that upon you. For the Bible says today that God will not willingly afflict or grieve you. God will never do that. So whenever you are going through problems, whenever you are going through affliction, whenever you are going through any challenge in your life, be careful not to say that it is because God has brought it upon you. For God does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone. Because after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who have called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. My dear friends, if you are going through any hardship, if you are going through any suffering, if you are going through any pain, if you are going through any discomfort, if you are going through any failure in your life, God has sent me today to announce to you that after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who have called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. That's a great word of encouragement from God Almighty. So if you are going through any challenges this day, do not be dismayed. Don't let your heart be troubled. For God is promising here in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 10. He says that after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who have called you to his eternal glory, will himself restore support, strengthen, and establish you. He will establish you in everything you do. He will support you in everything you do. God will restore to you everything that the enemy has taken from you. Then he will strengthen you as you journey on in this life. Take courage and take comfort in these words. So let me pray for you before I leave you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day that you've made. I pray for everyone who is watching me live. I pray that you restore, you strengthen, you support, and you establish everyone who is watching me. I pray that you will pour out your blessing on each and everyone who is watching, that there shall be no room enough for them to receive your blessing. I pray that you will strengthen those who are weak. I pray that you will support those who need your support. I pray that you will restore anyone who have lost anything in their lives and i pray that you establish all those 
who are unstable. Heavenly Father, may your blessing that make it rich and add no sorrow be our portion. May your blessing rest upon us and may your power overshadow our lives. And may we walk in the hope, confidence, and the light of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> My dear friends, I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.